I just want to preface this video saying that I'm sick. I'm really not feeling well. So that's why I'm that's why there's no there's no video here. <clears throat> it's nothing major. It's probably just a cold. So uh, that's why that's why there's no video. Now this video by R this article by RT explains a particular individual Igor Stepanov who claims he wants to destroy Stalin's cult. And by cult, I mean that's kind of very hard considering the guy is not alive. He means destroy the man's popularity in Russia. That's really what he's going for here. He's angered by the popularity, the increasing popularity that Stalin has today. Now, of course, he takes the very typical anti-communist route by just going after the most, you know, in just ridiculous things that aren't there. And um, basically even tries to claim that Stalin personally signed off on absolutely everybody killed. And, of course, exaggerates the numbers of people who were killed. Because, of course, trying to get rid of elements destroying your country, uh, particularly those with fascist leanings, is, of course, wrong. Because a capitalist country would never do that. <coughs> Epstein. Or, you know, create a bunch of wars for profit that kill tens of millions, if not, well, in the case of the United States, hundreds of millions of people once you consider the slave trade and the genocide of Native Americans. So you can already see he's a two-faced piece of shit right here and has a very selective outrage. Now, why does this seem so important to the guy? Well, you see, he claims that 20 of his relatives died there, and most of them were priests. Now, the point of bringing up that they were, they were priests is to make it seem like they didn't do nothing. Now, of course, this really doesn't happen where people go around mass killing people who didn't do nothing. There's always some kind of basis for this kind of thing. Were they engaged in a larger activity to subvert the Soviet state and bring back capitalism? Yes, because one of the things that happened to the church was that they were no longer holding as much power as they used to. Now, many Russians did continue to be God-fearing Christians, but the church itself did not have the power it used to have. So, essentially, this guy is out uh, for a personal vendetta, which actually makes this a, what do you call it, a conflict of interest that this guy should be up for it. Basically, he's got this bourgeois family that was, you know, in a pretty, pretty good position, eh, thinks he's better than everybody else, and then all of a sudden, his uh, wealthy family, who carried out all the misery that the Russian people were suffering, gets their asses booted from their privileged position. This is a lot like the whining, pissing, and moaning by Anne Rand, whose rich Russian family was part of the problem in Russia that was tearing it apart into such terrible, grinding poverty. And then when they were kicked down to the level of everybody else, it was a great crime against humanity. Not that the grinding poverty that they caused was a great crime against humanity. It's having to live like everybody else and to not be superior to everybody else. That is the problem. That's the real crime here. Now, already he has taken this to several investigative bodies in the EU, but they are basically saying that they're not interested. Basically, this is very obviously politically motivated historically. It serves no purpose now. Even if we were to be completely brain dead and assume everything that was leveled at Stalin was absolutely true, exactly what would be accomplished by carrying this out? I mean, nothing, nothing really. I mean, there's, there's nobody to, quote, pay back. I mean, I assume that that's probably what he's going for here. Get it registered as a crime and some of this shouldn't happen. Then that way he could sue the Russian government and say, it get, you know, gives me back all my family's ill-gotten gains. But so far, the European Court of Human Rights it doesn't really seem interested at all nor do the rest of the human rights bodies. You know, they've got their hands full dealing with actual human rights violations that are occurring right now in real life. So, his anger 
his anger, Stepanov's anger, is really just butthurt. That he's no longer the rich, powerful, or maybe the uh, privileged, at least the privileged position that his family once had. And I think that's what's irking him here. He feels his family was wronged by the idea that he is not better than everybody else, which probably is a great wound in his ego and his uh, perception of self. So he's decided to make this his crusade, because what he can't stand is that people like him. I mean, it's not like <clears throat> people wanted to celebrate the guy who defeated Nazi Germany, or the guy who led the way on the industrialization of the Soviet Union, with massively increasing people's, doubling people's life expectancy, and massively increasing their living standard. That's what he can't stand. This is really nothing more than a personal vendetta for him. A petty personal vendetta. So here's to hoping that he'll never get anything he wants. That he gets nothing that he wants. And that this person who is so ragingly butthurt over the fact that people like the guy who made him less privileged ends up as nothing more, not even a footnote in history. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.